About four months ago, I made a very long video where I 100%ed Hogwarts Legacy. But since I uploaded that video, the game has come out with a new update, adding a whole new mission. And that means that I all of a sudden haven't completed everything there is to do. And I mean, I can't have it like that, so that has to change. The reason for why it has taken me so long to play this mission, though, is because I've actually been putting this off. Because I've heard that this is a scary mission. And I'm not good with scary stuff. I actually think most scary stuff is scary. And that makes me scared but I can no longer excuse myself it is time to play this and so here we are back in the wizarding world back with our favorite character Gary's mod. Since I really just wanted the scary stuff to be over as soon as possible, I headed to Hogsmeade immediately and walked straight to where the mission was happening. Or it seems like I stopped for four minutes to listen to NPCs talking for some reason. But when they were done with their conversation, I went straight over to the mid- More NPCs talking. Really seems like I'm trying to avoid this mission. I then stopped listening to NPCs and I actually went to do the mission. I came up to an house elf and she asked me if I wanted to buy her and also a shop. And yes, that is the mission. You buy and maintain a shop. I don't really know what is so scary about that. Like, oh no, not finances. Oh no, the stock market is coming after me. Well, maybe this won't be as scary as I thought it would be. So I decided to buy the elf. And also the shop, of course. So the elf sent me to her owner, Cassandra Mason. She asked me a bunch of questions about how to maintain a shop and what was good for business and other unimportant things like that. And then she asked me to come back if I had the finances for it. <laughs> Excuse me? You don't think I have enough money? Okay, she is asking for 1,500, whatever the currency is called, and I have 294 million nine hundred fifty one thousand nine hundred nineteen don't you worry about my finances that i definitely got in a legitimate way so i talked to her again immediately and bought the shop now it was mine but first i had to remove some of her dead husband's old things maybe that was the scary stuff old hats Ooh. so i went to my shop and opened the chest and oh no I came down to a cellar, but the ladder up disappeared. I was now stuck in here. And I who thought that there maybe wasn't going to be anything scary. Well, I think it's best for voiceover me to leave now and let actual me take over from here. Lumos. Okay. Wait, was it? That's odd. Why would someone store one hat in here? Yeah, when you can store two. Was that it? That's not very hospitable. No, that isn't very hospitable. Okay. No, I knew it! Oh, goody! Someone to play with! You seem brave, so I know Avada Kedavra, and I'm not afraid to use it. That's new. Onwards, I suppose. No, thank you. I'm I'm leaving. Let me out! Okay, I guess I'm going here. No! What the? Who's there? I'm sorry, man, but you're not... You're not allowed to exist here. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Not okay! Not okay! It's not funny! Stop sitting around here! It's no fun! What's this? Oh. What is that? Is that Dumbledore? Stop it! Lumos! Oh. I'm not going back in there, I'm staying here. I don't like it! <laughs> Stop That's it! Lovely. Ha ha! Someone wrote to me on Discord, so I have to leave. How unfortunate. I was so sad to leave, but duty calls, I guess. But duty didn't call for long enough, because only 30 minutes later, I was back in the same place. We're back. And I'm trying to be uh, not so scared this time. Not that I was scared uh, last time. Uh, How enlightening! How enlightening, thank you. Hmm, you might survive a bit longer than the other. What? Bye. I don't want to. It's not fun. I don't like this at all. Lumos. I don't like this. 
Why such high ceilings? No! Oh, you've come so far! Oh, so wow, quickly. what a nose! Well, this is Fastidio, a poltergeist that apparently haunted this shop. The old lady Mason actually mentioned that she hadn't been able to keep a tenant at her shop for long at all, and now I can really see why. To get out of this dungeon, I had to solve puzzles. Oh no, my biggest nightmare! The first puzzle was pick the right door. And it actually seemed like I picked the correct door on my first try. Oh, I'm back here. Let's leave. Oh, I can. Deja vu. Lumos. Okay, I was not allowed to go there. The second door led to a room that just went on and on in circles. But this was better than being scared, so I just kept walking in circles until I had to turn around again. So the third door was the only option left. I, oh my god. What was that? Lumos. It wasn't for me. I don't like this. No, I don't want to do this anymore. Oh. I mean, I can deal with this. I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied. I don't I don't mind being here. Couldn't bring up. Lumos. Oh. oh. Please, no. I'm closing my Oh, how nice of oh. him to pop in. I'm just going to go straight ahead. Couldn't bring up. Lumos. Fine, I'll go in here. So what I had to do in every puzzle was to find one of these lanterns and hang them up on a hand. And when I had found two, a door would open. And Fabi B D B T Bo would try and hurt me. But since I was already in max level, he did practically no damage to me at all. So all of a sudden, it wasn't as scary anymore. When he had tried to fight me for a while, he left and I had to walk to the other end of the dungeon and do two more puzzles. One where I was walking on these flying plank bridges to get to a room full of mannequins that tried to kill me, with an emphasis on tried. The other puzzle was Glassbridge from Squid Game. Then he tried to do more damage to me until he ran away to this courtyard where he made a massive super scary monster out of barrels and chairs! But I still might have been at a bit too high of a level because I fought it off quite easily. Until it turned me upside down! No, it was still easy. When the monster was defeated, Fab Bertin ba Banana Man <laughs> made a deal with me that I could own the shop without him interfering if for two days a month he could mess with the guests, but only after 9 o'clock. I mean, I would just close the shop before 9, but sure, great deal! I then made it up to the surface and confronted Penny about this, but she wouldn't answer because she was still not under my command for some reason, even though I had paid. Is this fraud I smell? That is not okay, I will go to the police! So I went to the police and together we went to Cassandra Mason, but the moment we could confronted her, she attacked the officer. She tried attacking me as well, but she must not have known that I'm like the chosen one, so I just used my ancient magic three times and one. So now, finally, I had my own shop, and I couldn't wait to call it Vesters and Venom, Cladwell and Brewster, Stitches and Draughts, I guess. I, I choose that. Stitches and Draughts. Drafts. I thought it was Draughts. Drafts. Stitches and Draughts? Draughts? Now it was time to sell some stuff, so I went around collecting everything I could and went back only to notice that all I could sell here was the same thing that I could sell to literally any other shopkeeper in the game. Clothing items I wasn't using, but it was at a 20 whatever the currency is called markup, so I technically paid 1,500 whatever the currency is called to be tormented by a poltergeist and sell clothes for 220 instead of 200. Best purchase I've ever made!